everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Katie, and today we are doing some Bible journaling. So I almost didn't do a video today. Not that I didn't want to, but we got back from vacation over the weekend, and I was just kind of tired and kind of didn't have an idea, but then I had something that I have been wanting to do for a little while because I put some stickers on my water bottle, but I think the way my water bottle is made, stickers do not hold well to my water bottle. I washed it first, I did everything I was supposed to, but just the coating on the water bottle does not hold stickers. So I'm gonna use those stickers, take them off my water bottle. They're pretty new, they should come off fairly easily, I hope. But I'm gonna put at least one or two on here with like a fun little background. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let me go ahead and say a quick prayer before we get started. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing us all together today. I just pray, Lord God, that you will encourage us in our walk with you, Lord God, and. I just pray, Lord God, that you will just help encourage us each and every day. I pray for your healing to be with each one of us, Lord God, and that you will just bring us joy and peace in every situation, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so we're going to be journaling Isaiah 12, verse 3, and it says, You will joyfully draw water from the springs of salvation. And I was just trying to find some kind of like water type verse or just something that kind of went with the stickers that I have. So I'm gonna bring my water bottle over here. It's over here. But I did a sticker swap with one of my friends who's in Canada. And so I put my, my stickers on here, but they're already peeling off. So I think just the coating on this bottle, it's not like a, like a, like a plastic or it's, very, it's a weird coating. So, I had a feeling they weren't going to work. The other stickers seem to be staying okay, but this one is not. Maybe because it's on more of a curve. I don't know. But we're going to at least use this sticker in our journal today. And, I mean, it says to take joy in our salvation. And it's talking about living water. So we have water. We have living animals in the water. Yes, it's bubble tea, but that is my favorite drink. So think of Jesus' living water as even better than your favorite drink. So... That, that's my um, terminology for today. I'm also going to take a drink because I'm thirsty. Okay, so I'm at least going to use this sticker. I might use one more depending on how much space I have. But I'm going to go ahead and protect the back of my page because you, you always should do that. I don't always, but most of the time I try. But anyway, so I'm going to protect that. And I'm going to go ahead and do, this is really fun actually. I'm going to use just my little mat here as my my painting palette, but I have some green, some teal, and blue colors. These are from uh, Americana Deco Art, and it's in the colors Sea Breeze, Peacock Teal, and Bright Blue, if you wanted to know. So I got a bunch of blues because, I mean, blues, it goes with the water background. So I'm just going to squish a little on my palette here. Oops, I did not mix these. <laughs> Why didn't I mix them beforehand? Well, that's just the way my brain works. And I figured, hey, they're new paints. I shouldn't have to mix them, but you know, my I mean, all paint needs to be mixed, even if they're new or not new. So, ah, that's better. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and squirt a little bit on. I'm sorry you can't see where my paint is right now, um, but you will as soon as I start. I'm just getting out some paint on my palette. There we go. Oh, that one's already drying out. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna take my paintbrush. I just have a fan brush because that's the first one that I found. But I'm gonna be using some cellophane wrap. And yeah, this is just a fun technique that I've seen on, um, on another person's channel. I will link that video down below in the description box if you want to check it out. But I really wanted to try it out for myself. So you're just going to use a piece of plastic wrap. And you're just going to kind of scrunch it up. And just kind of loosely scrunch, I guess. So it's not like super tight or anything. It's not like you're going to scrunch it into a ball or whatever. But you're just going to have it kind of crinkly and stuff. And you're just going to spread some color onto your cellophane wrap. And I guess you should work fairly quickly because paint dries, you know, pretty quickly. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of color, a couple different colors, a little bit of more aqua up here. Yeah, so after you're done, you're going to go ahead and just smoosh it on our page. And I don't really care where it goes because I got a big space, but I'm just going to go ahead and paint my background. So this Bible is more for decoration and more for just creativity so if i do cover up a word by accident i'm not gonna freak out because <laughs> i do have my study bibles and this one is just for art i'm actually already loving how it's turning out i am really loving this okay this might be my new favorite technique 
but yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this I'm gonna add a little bit more paint because my paint did dry a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and add more colors and more paint forgot to put the blue in the center but that's okay I think I need a little bit more blue so I'm gonna add a little bit more blue and a little bit more of the aqua okay so then I'm gonna go ahead and just add and you just want to pat it you don't really want to rub it in or anything but just kind of go every direction that's why I have the paper back here so I can protect my pages I'm gonna put a little bit over here because you know that page will obviously be blank if I don't put anything here so I would like to put a little bit of paint on that side because you know otherwise it's gonna be kind of boring on that side especially in like Isaiah and Psalms you kind of have like both sides of the canvas to work with which I do love so make sure don't forget to both to do both sides I might actually crinkle it up a little bit more when I go to that side. So yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to flip it. And I want to use the smaller side so that way um, it will have a little bit more space. So I want to grab a little bit more blue. I think I'm going to grab a little bit more of that really dark blue. Maybe put a little bit of the teal in the center. Okay, so I'm going to take that smaller section. And I'm just going to go ahead and try not to get messy. <laughs> I want to go ahead and tap it over here just to get a little more color on this side and I love the mixture of colors I just love having kind of like almost like a sprinkle effect here and there I'm really loving this I think it looks really cool so just you know figure out where you want it I'm going to put a little bit on the bottom corners just to kind of like make it a little bit cohesive so I'm just going to go a little bit at the bottom here so it's kind of like all around the page really like that okay I think we're good all right so this is how it looks I could go a little bit more over but honestly I think I think we're all set I think maybe I'll put a little bit more closer but I do want to see my verse that I where is my verse anyways oh there it is <laughs> like where is the verse that I'm using anyway so that's what it looks like Ooh, look at the mess I'm making <laughs> anyway so this is what it looks like you want to let it dry use a hair dryer let it air dry whatever you want before you put on your stickers and your decorative stuff all right so my page is pretty much almost dry <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and try to get off my stickers here I hope they just peel off because they're still a little sticky oh good okay Whew. I was hoping because I was like, but they're still, they're actually still really sticky. So I'm like, I don't know why. There is a little bit of dirt on the corner here. So I'm wondering if that's why it was starting to peel up. I don't know why, but oh well, you know, that's what we deal with here. I put one here and I'm happy because now I get to use these in my, in my Bible journal. And honestly, that was probably my original idea was to put them in my Bible, but I didn't do it right away. So that's okay. So I have this one I'm trying to decide if I want to go ahead and put another one in here or just keep these in my water bottle because if I'm being honest, these actually are staying. I don't see any lift up. So what I could do is I could leave this more plain. And if, if something happens where one of these peels off later, I can always add it to here later. So I think I might do that. All right. So I have a couple pas Posca pens. Wow. I don't know what I was trying to say there. I think I was going to say pastel pens. I mean, they are kind of pastel. Oops. But I have a couple different colors. Um, the pink one's honestly screaming at me because, hey, it's really fun. Um, honestly, the pink one might be best because the rest of the colors are probably going to really blend in, like, a lot. And I'm just worried about that. So, yeah, I think these three are going to blend in too much where you won't be able to see the letters. So either the very dark blue or the pink. Hmm. Oh, I couldn't do brown, but I don't know if I have brown to match like the background of of the boba there. You know what? I might go see if I have brown. I did end up finding a brown Posca pen. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and use the brown one, even though it's a little bit of a strange color choice. I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. So, let's see. What verse do I want to do? I want to go ahead and put, you will... Joyfully a draw a water from the springs of, of salvation. Why not put the whole verse down on me? Or I could even put something like Be joyful In the springs of salvation like you don't necessarily have to like repeat the verse I think I like that actually be joyful in the springs of salvation. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that
All right, so I tried to make it as bold as I could off camera, just because I had to bring it closer and be off the camera. So I'm not super thrilled with the actual like lettering only because yeah, the background kind of like completely gets rid of the lettering. Um, I would seriously, honestly, probably do an even bigger paint background, like even more splatter and do white to make it pop. What I might do after this dries, because it is a paint pen, I might go ahead and do it and, and, and align it in black to just make it pop a little bit more. Because if you do a white or a black outline in your lettering, it does make it pop even more. I don't know if I have an example of it, because I'm not going to do it right now on camera. Because it's going to take a little bit to dry, and I want to make sure it dries before I go ahead and go in with my with my lettering. Um, I, don't, I don't seriously know if I have anything that I did in this Bible. But actually, I should somewhere, shouldn't I? I've done enough lettering in here. I should have one that has um, lettering in here. I think this one might. Yeah, I did this one. So this one I did white, but the white wasn't popping off the page. So I I lined it with the um, black and it makes it pop more. So that's probably what I'll do with this one. I'll, I'll line it with white or black. Probably black because it does have a, a white background. So I'm sorry that the lettering isn't popping off completely off the page, but hopefully you can read it um, on there. I'm gonna make sure to put a date because I always forget to put a date. So let's go ahead and do that right now before we forget. I think it's um, May 24th, I believe. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in pink pen. Why not, since we have it out already. So May 24th, year two. I'm just gonna put a two, three, because I have no room. There we go. <laughs> that looks funny, and I'm probably gonna forget what 24 slash 23 means. Um, actually, yeah, I'll put the little, the little icon, whatever that means. Hey, this is a year. All right, so there we go. So I hope you enjoyed this, and hopefully you'll try it. You know, you can always tag me um, on Instagram. I don't check my Instagram anymore for my faith journaling one, because I'm not on there really anymore. Um, so I kind of, I didn't deactivate it, but I mean, if you, if you do post it to Instagram, I'd love to see and tag me and I will check in my Instagram and I'd love to see what you, what you create. So I hope you all have a wonderful, oh, my Instagram handle is just my channel name, Katie Faith Journaling. You know, it's nothing different. All right. So I hope you all have a wonderful blessed day and I will see you all next week for the next video.